if you're married this video is for you and if you're contemplating marriage this video is also for you if you're like me you believe so much in marriage you know that marriage is a blessing from god is a union ordained by god you have so much faith in marriage even though a lot of marriages have been failing then this video is also for you hello guys you welcome back to my channel it is your girl irene and you guys have i told you that i now call you guys my insiders yes you guys are my insiders because you guys know a lot about me than most people mm -hmm. even people who are really really close to me that don't follow me don't watch my videos especially on youtube they don't even know more about me much about me compared to you guys so you guys are my insiders you guys are the real mvp you understand which is why i always bring my very best to this i want to share these secrets with you people I've given the first marriage advice if you haven't seen that video you might as well go and check that video out but i have some things that i would really really want to talk to you guys about so most people go into marriage with divorce as their backup plan yes i said what i said most marriages are failing are beginning to fail. i don't know if you've noticed but the rate at which marriages are beginning to fail these days is becoming alarming and that is because people enter into marriage with divorce as their backup plan i know a lot of people that have reached out to me because they see i'm divorced so they reach out to me to ask my opinion about certain things about divorce some of them their problem their marital problem never reach you know reach to they consider divorce but they see me online they see how happy i look and they think they want to be like me you understand i know that I am not financially you get but they see the happiness i'm living now they see the way i live now especially people who already knew me way before when i was married they see it now and they think yeah that is my goal i want to be like i just want to be free please somebody once said that she is not a divorce advocate i am not a lot of people that have reached out to me about their marital issues i still tell them that divorce is not the goal okay so please when you're talking about marital issues problems please remove divorce from it remove divorce divorce from the equation remove it completely hmm? and do not use somebody else's life to measure as a yardstick to measure your own life or your own marriage you understand so please a lot of marriages are failing today because a lot of people are entering into marriage with divorce as their backup plan what is the worst that can happen Chebi is divorce quata, quata, divorce uh -huh, i go my way and so and that is why marriages are failing. Nobody is willing to put in the work. Marriage is work. Nobody is willing, both the man and the woman, nobody is willing to put in the work, to put in the effort, to try and see how to make this thing work. They don't understand that it is a forever situation till death do you people part. They don't understand it. And because of that, marriages are failing. Which is why I've decided to come out here to give you little info, things that I think you should do both man and both woman things you can do to you know build your marriage to enjoy your marriage to be successful in your marriage you understand like i said removing divorce from the back of your mind just remove divorce just remove the fact that pata pata, there is divorce remove it just tell yourself that i have entered and i am not going out whether you're a man or you're a woman or just tell yourself eh, this marriage nobody it wasn't at gunpoint i have entered this marriage is that i have entered it i am not going out again i am not leaving this marriage if you remove divorce from it and work hard on work on building your marriage your marriage is going to succeed for the women remember that you're a wife yes if you're a woman remember that you're a wife remember that you're the feminine energy in that union there are not going to be two masculine people in the marriage yes there has to be one that is the masculine one and there's one that has to be the feminine one bring in your a game bring in your feminine energy always know how to use it a lot of us don't know how to use this feminine energy we are always dragging things we always drag it especially when we become mothers when we become mothers, our attention will now shift. We forget that we first become, became a wife before, even before we became mothers. Our attention will now shift to our children. It is now our children from morning to afternoon to night. We are talking about children. We are talking about children, parenting, doing this for the child, doing that for the child, doing this for the children, doing this for the children. That we we'll neglect that we were wives first. We neglect that the men too need some of our attention too. 
and the men need to be involved in their children's affair too. Sometimes we even forget that these men are their fathers. So. Yes, we forget that these men are the father of the children and we carry the whole responsibility. Now how they do this one, now they do that one, this one. We forget that sometimes we should involve him in these things. Most men don't even know that they should be involved. They think, okay, it's a woman's thing, unless you tell them, unless you teach them, unless you involve them. So please, involve him. Sometimes carry the child, give him, may you for rest. He's not going to complain, he's his child. You understand? So most people, we tend to forget this thing sometimes as women. We tend to carry everything and heap on our heads. And they, go, they, they tear us down. They're pulling us down. Forgetting that he too is the man and he's the father. He too can take this responsibility. Why we have time to rebound. Why we have time to, you know, build ourselves and still come back with our A game. You understand? Be kind to each other. There's this slogan I have. Like, I'm not the one that invented this slogan, okay? But then I, I chose it, I picked it, and I took it up. And that slogan is, you see that thing that I will not want to be done to me? To be honest, I don't like doing it to other people. How much more in marriage? You see that thing that if they do it to you, whether you're the man or the woman, you will not like it. You will not accept it. You will not find it funny. Please, don't do it to the same. Don't do it to your marriage partner. Be kind. Always be polite. Always be gentle with your partners. A lot of a lot of married people. See, finish. Don't enter this thing. You not think he knows now? Ah, she knows now. She have to know now. She knows now. Nobody is kind anymore. Nobody. You don't speak kindly like you used to do when you were asking this person out or when you were trying to get this person attention. No, but now you don't talk. Hey, mama, get you. Hey, papa, get you. I beg. I beg. Learn to be kind to each other. Learn to do those same things that you know that if they do it to you. You'd love it. You'd appreciate it. You'd be happy about it. Give give that same energy. If you give that same energy, I'm sure you're going to receive it as well. But if you give the energy that you're not, you would not like to accept. When they start giving it to you, you can't take it. You get. So please, let us be kind to each other. Let's say your marriage has started having issues here and there, fights, bickering. You no longer believe what this person is saying. You, you feels like you feel like he's lying or she's lying you don't longer accept why don't you try dating again what is wrong with you dating again what is wrong with you trying to woo this person again what is wrong with trying to get this person attention again the same way you did first at first okay because see finish don't enter you think ah, which i won't come tell him again so if you're having marital energy uh, problems and it has gone beyond the normal. It's no longer the normal, you know, fighting and stuff. Your life is now at risk. Then maybe, maybe there's nothing you can do about it. You can as well go your separate ways. But if it is normal one that you know that it's just normal fights, couples fight, it's just that, you know, both of you are beginning to tear apart, you can start up again. I've seen husband and wife that to be like, you know what, I'll move out. In fact, let's start this thing afresh again. They have children, but they start afresh. The husband will move out, maybe look for another apartment, and then we start checking this lady again, all over again. It feels like they're separated, and they are focused. You are like you're separated doesn't mean that you're going to go and start dating other people or having relationships outside your marriage. No, you're separated, but then you're trying to build, lit up that candle again to start up. You're trying to have this return that crush you used to have on this person. Most people, when they get married, they relax. They relax so much that, uh -huh, uh, what is there now? All this thing I did when I was trying to get attention. Now nah, I don't burn. I don't. What I want to do again? Seriously. Please. Try and level up. Try and be happy. Try and look good. That you're now married doesn't mean that you should be relaxed. A lot of people are beginning to relax so much in marriage. They no longer do those things that attracted them to their partners or attracted their partners to them. They now relax. They no longer care. They can tie one wrapper from morning to night, no problem. Seriously? You guys should stop getting comfortable. Not too much comfortability, now they cause this one. Stop getting too much comfortable. Still try to spice things up. Still try to, you know, make things work. Separate and come back again with full force. Start date nights. Go on dates. Go on trips. You know, do those small, small things. If you cannot afford that part of that lifestyle, Try other techniques. Just remove divorce from the picture. Remove divorce entirely. Remove it from the picture and throw it away from you. And tell yourself, this is a forever situation and it must work. 
and you receive it to work. That's how you see people that have lived 15 years in marriage, 20 years in marriage, 30 years in marriage. You think it was easy for them. You think they never had issues. You think they never fought. So if your life is not at risk of contacting one serious disease like that because of cheating and rest, and you feel like you cannot deal with it anymore, then, but otherwise that, tell yourself this marriage is a do or die situation. It must work and it will succeed. Both of you put in the effort. If the two of you put in the effort, it's definitely going to work. You're going to find that their marriage is going to be successful. Tell yourself, this is my last point. Tell yourself that I want this marriage to work. I want, just decide it. Decide that you want this marriage to work. You want your children to live in a father-mother environment. You do not want your children to grow up in a divided home. You want your children to live together with their parents until they grow up. You want your children to experience what it feels like to be loved, to live, to be happily married, to be in a successful marriage, so that they too can have that same mentality and so that when they go into their own marriage, they'll make it work. If you decide that, you're definitely going to make your marriage work. Usually, usually, when you're looking for a job or when you're trying to lose weight, there's always a motive behind it. There's always a reason why you want to work, you want to succeed at what you're doing, whether to lose weight or to get a job or to enlarge or you know your business or something. There's always a reason, there's always a motive. So if you give yourself that motive, that driving force, if you put if you put that same principle in your marriage, you're going to find that that is going to work. And what I say to one, I say to all, when I'm talking about making your marriage work, I'm not talking I'm not talking to the women only. I am not talking. I'm not separating. I'm not like you know coaching the women. I'm also talking to the men. Because you are the drivers. Mm -hmm. You are the drivers. You're the one that is driving this ship. So. If you, most men think, eh, is a woman, marriage is for the woman. Marriage is a woman thing. If you want your marriage to work, then you have to make it work. You have to put in the sacrifice. Why they relax? They don't do anything. Sorry, uncle, that's not true. And when it comes to marriage, I think you're the driver. You're the one that's supposed to make it work. You're the one that was giving the driving. Unless maybe you do not want to drive the marriage anymore. You can give it to the woman and then the woman can now start dictating what happens. But if you're the driver, if you're the one driving this ship, this marriage ship, then uncle, you have to put in the work as well. So when I'm talking about marriage, I'm telling people, I'm talking about, I'm talking to the men and to the women as well. Both of you need to fight. Both of you need to decide, why did you get married in the first place? You saw this person, you liked this person and you want to do forever with this person, right? Not like you loved the person because I don't think anybody wants to do forever with person, anybody they like, it has to be somebody they love, right? So it means that you want to spend the rest of your life with this person. Yeah, so, and nobody said it was going to be easy. Nobody said that it's going to be sweet and sweet sailing. No, but no crisis, no problem, no accident. No, there's going to be these things happening and, you know, rearing their heads. It is now your responsibility as a team to put hands together and make it work. But if you leave it for one person to do, tell me, how can this person do the whole work? So please, try and make your marriage work. Try and build it, try and work hard, try and fight. Have a good motive to it. And if you will see, it, it's going to work. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate my insiders. I'll see you in my next video. Until then.